Good morning, everybody. Hello. It's that time again. You're live with us on Atom Bowl TV. You're watching Time Out with myself, Kimera Hiralal, as your host, and by my side, the beautiful Samantha Kai. Hello, hi, good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Did you watch yeah. Popcorn with this? <laughs> I know, you guys say no. You know what to do. Just, you know. Why? I don't know. Because I downloaded it for you. Yeah, please. And I'll give it to you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll download it. Right. Guys, so for those of you who want to join us in conversation in the studio today, you can catch all the contact details at the bottom of the screen. So, so. How was your Thursday? Your Pusa Thursday? Uh, overseas listeners, you're drinking alcohol Thursday. Pusa! <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, um, well, my one is actually Friday Eve, so I'm looking forward to Friday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Your Friday vibes. No. This girl has a party. I don't get why she's saying uh, Friday vibes. What, what's your Friday vibes? You're gonna go meet some people. Mm -hmm. And also, <laughs> <laughs> actually, I think I enjoy people um, being around people that are happy. Especially okay. on Fridays, everyone is happy for some reason. Um, Strange, because huh? tomorrow is the last day of April, so oh, yeah. everyone's going to be happy. Is that a good thing? It is a good thing. We're going into winter. Which is a good thing. No. Yes, guys, it's a why? good thing. Because I don't like summer and all that. So. You know you know why she says it's a good thing? She doesn't wake up at 3 in the morning like <laughs> I do. It's bloody cold in the morning to get to the studio. I was like, Ugh. Yeah. Today I did. I woke up early today and, and I was like, oh no. How is that <laughs> I'm not cold? doing this again, but anyway, I'll do it again. So you got hot water? Yep. Okay, so you got water. That's good. Mm. <laughs> I'm happy huh? for Guys, in South Africa, we're having a lot of water shortages. We have, for those of you who don't know what's load shedding, just check it out, what South Africa goes through. Trevor Noah speaks about it all the time. And uh, yeah, so today I wanted to ask you something. Okay, okay. Should we do when we come back? Yeah. Please. Huh? Yeah. Or should we just mention it so you guys can think about it? Okay, mm -hmm. so today I wanted to talk about something that's quite, it, it happens in life all the time. Right. Did you, when you got out with mom, when you were younger, when you were a baby, okay, here's my question to you. Mm -hmm. Did she ever take you to places assuming that you're having fun but you actually hated it? Yeah. <laughs> all the time? times? Yeah. yeah, all the time. So guys, you tell us, when you were a kid and your folks used to take you out, like say example, your mom goes to the gym and there's a play place there, so she thinks, okay, I can dump you there for an hour and hit the aerobics class, and you were miserable every single day, yet she thinks, oh my god, I think I'm killing two birds with one stone, I'm gymming, and my kid is having fun. No. Mm -mm. Talk to us, you got the contact details, but we'll come back straight after this commercial break. Wanna be a star? For all your music needs, contact Rockstar B Productions South Africa. We offer music production, publishing, artist management, and digital distribution. For further information, contact 084 605 5466. And we're back. If you just joined us, you're live with us on Attenville TV. You're Hello. watching? Time, Time out. out with myself, Kimera Hiralal, as your host, and by my side, Samantha Kai. Hello, hi, and good afternoon, people. <laughs> <laughs> She's got to watch Pocahontas, guys. <laughs> she will laugh after she sees it, I promise you. For those of you who know that movie, you're probably laughing too. Yeah. 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 So, so tell me, when you used to go out, what, did, did you grow up with mom? Yeah. And when, whenever she went out when you were a kid, tell us. Uh, where, where did she take you and dump you? Well, okay, so we had like a swimming pool, public swimming pool, by the way. Right. And so we would go there as a family, and uh, they would be like, you know, the, what is it called? Baby pool. Yeah, yeah. Back yeah. then it was called baby pool. I don't think it's called like that today. <laughs> <laughs> I just still... call it the shallow pool, and everybody pees in there, I won't go in there. Yeah, so for us it was called baby pool. My mom's like, you can go there by the baby pool, and yeah. then we will go there by the shallow end type of thing. And so, um. The way? Shallow end. Oh. Deep end, man. Oh, yeah. Deep end. <laughs> oh, so mom was at the pool as well. Yeah. So maybe she thought it was fun. No, it kids. wasn't fun. So, yeah, obviously. She can't swim. <laughs> Is that the reason why it wasn't fun? No, 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 no. Okay, so it goes, it's actually the reason why I don't like being in the pool in okay. the first place. So when I was there, I was like the only girl and the rest were like guys. And oh. uh, yeah, they were my cousin. Okay. And my oh, mom, that's fine. That's not fine. For me, that was fun. They're like retarded guys. So, you know, no, it wasn't fine. It wasn't fine. 
And the way they were playing, they were like shove each other underneath the water and uh, boys are like that. No, boys are like that. I wasn't a boy. I know, and I was treated like a boy. Like, oh, so didn't they make you tough? No, I'm still weak, guys. Oh man, no, but it's, so it wasn't fun. And how often? Uh, every weekday. Oh, um, every weekday. Every My single day. My mom wanted day. us to actually know how to swim, and, and you learn. Didn't want to learn. Mm-mm. I still don't. Really? No. You you don't like water? Mm-mm. So boat rides, going on those slow those slow ferries. Yeah, like but being underwater is another story. Oh, it's so, yeah. No, not really. You know when you actually are forced to do something mm. growing up and then when you now reach your adulthood, you're mm. like never again. You don't like it. Yeah. Mm. But why? Sorry, I'm trying to understand. How <laughs> Kimera? <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, you just don't like it, or was I it don't your company? Like it. No, it was that I was forced to actually learn how to do it, and oh. I told her it's not something I enjoy doing. I get it. Oh man, interact with us in the studio today, guys. Have your parents ever taken you out very often to a place you didn't even like, and they just assumed it's fine? Yes, Most, a lot of parents do that. Can I tell you a story quickly? Before that, before mm-hmm. that, we have a uh, chat from Stony, our Stony Melodist, somebody. Hi, Stoney. Hello, honey. Hi, ladies. A big smile on my face to you again. (laughs) Good morning. Evening and morning. You get it? Okay, got it. Good Good. evening. (laughs) (laughs) Well, guys, yeah, so so check this out. Okay, if you just joined us and you missed the topic of conversation, we are talking about those places where parents take their kids, assuming that it's fun. It's not for everyone. (laughs) <laughs> did you know what I just did there? It's for everyone. <laughs> you know, logo is, it's for everyone. Ah, but that's not for everyone. Okay, my folks assumed yeah. taking, you know, okay, not my folks only, fam, the entire family, like my mom and her brothers and their right. wives and kids as uh-huh. well. They like going to the casino. There's a game, obviously, section there for yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they dump you there and then they go and gamble all night, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, they assumed that was fun. I don't know. I think the more money they give you, they think the better it is. But it, you, you, you're fine. You get tokens and you play all night, but not every single weekend. Get me? Yeah, I get you. Yeah. So yes. you know, you know what I did one day. I found out what's road taxis. There was no Uber that time, and uh, yeah, I was 16. So obviously I'm underage and I look yeah. much younger than this as well. So I, I, I looked at my cousin Samantha. Her name is. Yeah, Sam, yeah. if you're watching, <laughs> shout out to you, Miss Lagrange. Now, I looked at her and I said, oh, Really? You know they're going to be all night. What do you want to do? She's like, I don't know. My dad gave me 500 bucks. Wow. I said, My yeah. dad gave me 500 bucks. What do you want to do? Shh. If they're watching, this is going to be good. <laughs> okay, so what happened was there was a club called Mint not too far from the casino. Uh huh. We went. How old were you guys at that 16. time? 16. No, because I knew that I was a DJ growing up. Yeah. So I used to play there as well. Uh-huh. So then I got in there and we relaxed. Lots of chips, pool tables, good music. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it was kind of fun. It was. Yeah. Because, I mean, I told you, growing up I was a party animal. Mm-hmm. And so was she. So that was what we wanted to do for fun. Lots of chips, shooting pool all night with good music and great DJs. It's always good when you make your own plan. Yes. So. No, we're 16. What are we going to do in the play place anymore? We're growing up. We grew up already. But our parents assumed, like, they treated us like we're still five. Yeah, we still, it was like a cultural thing. I know? get yeah. Family tradition. Yeah, but... Mm, <laughs> going to give a 16-year-old 500 bucks. What do you think they're going to do? <laughs> play all the right. We And you must know, when you enter the club, so you play damage at the door. So at that time, I think it, entrance was, what, 120 per person? Right, and that time it was really expensive. Went to 120 was a lot of money, yeah. right? So get in there, and then you must still pay, put coins in your, you know, two rand per game mm. on the pool tables. Then still buy your chips and your colas and whatever the case may Snacks. be. Yeah, yeah, and uh, oh, if there was this thing where um, they, they came, they came to us with these body shooters. Now I didn't know what that was until I went to the club. Yeah, uh, you drink the shots off the person's body, and the wait- oh. waiters and waitresses are actually models. They were like promoting shooters. Uh, yeah, a, yeah, they look yeah. at me, they're like, it's 10 bucks a body shot. I'm like, hey, go away. You actually get to see that in movies. I and like that. When they come to you, like, 10 yeah. bucks, and you're like, uh, 
don't know what you were doing with your body yeah. and who else you was somebody else doing. just put them exactly. out there and I'm a, exactly. I'm no, that's not <laughs> fun for me i'm so sorry guys it's fun for you i'm not i'm, I'm not putting it down it's just i don't like it personally so i'm i i uh, don't like it mm-hmm. but all. i love good music great lighting you know that atmosphere with yeah. pool tables i like that atmosphere and i love shooting pool because i grew up playing pool so it was fun Ah uh, yeah, so um, mom and dad uh, one night called us and we weren't answering because we hear our phones in there. It's loud in there. Oh yeah, yeah. And they looked for us. Oh, and, oh, we even called security. Oh yeah, but we apologized. We got grounded. It was worth it, huh, Sam? <laughs> it was so worth it. If yeah. my mom's watching now, she'll watch it later probably. Yeah. And I was just worth it. Like you made it. Well, huh? every single day being grounded, and plus I had PlayStation in my room to do. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so guys, interact with us in the studio today. We are talking about places that your folks think are fun, but truly not. And they just dump you there for like, too often. It becomes like a routine, but it's still not fun. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about this a bit more straight after this commercial break. We are Attenville FM, the smallest station with the biggest hearts. We cater for all genres of music, hip hop, house, R&B, Afrikaans, Bollywood, Chutney, Country, Dance, Gospel, Pop, Rock, R&B and a whole lot more. Our shows are not only entertaining but informative too. We cater for everyone. Attenville FM, it's for everyone. And we're back. If you just joined us, you're live with us on Attenville TV. You're watching Time Out with myself, Kimara Hidalol, as your host. And by my side, Samantha Kai. Hello, hi. Good afternoon, guys. So, yeah. from, from my experience, all the Samanthas I know in my life, my mm-hmm. private life, are very naughty. Yeah? You? Mm-mm. I'm like the unique one. I'm not. I will never lie, guys. I'll never lie. Kimera. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, we got some interaction there. Hit it up, girl. Hi, is Ria saying hi? Hi, Ria. Hi, Thank Ria. You for in. And we also have Stony saying Ish. Me. Me. I never had <laughs> have had such because growing up, I was forced to be able to be familiar with everything I go through. You're such an easy child to have. Can I adopt you? <laughs> Can I have you? Because you are very simple. Stony, you know, Stony. Um, I must say, from what we've gathered about you since we started this at Level TV, you seem to be a very simple and easily, easily satisfied human being. I love it. Yeah, but no, I'll tell you, still, I'm bored. I think you know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I'm bored, and you know I'm bored because I look at you funny. I'll scare you down until we go do something. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, jokes aside, guys, uh, we there are things that your parents think that are fun that they'll take you and dump you in, like. You know, I don't know if you, when you were a kid, when you went to McDonald's or the spa, mm. did you did your mother tell you go play in the play place? And that place smells like toes, bruh. How old were you when your mother used to Baba, take you there? Baba. So you I still even remember, I still remember. What? I don't remember half of my life. Really? Yeah. What? I can remember things from the age of four. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I can tell you like it happened yesterday. Mm-mm. I don't do that, guys. You I choose can't. to forget. I choose you to choose forget. to forget. Yeah. But it builds your character well. It doesn't. Like, most of the things that you go through as a kid, like, they're not what you would expect a child to go through. And mm. so we'd be like, okay, let's flush that out and uh, think okay. about positive things, you know, create your own childhood. Hey, there weren't good things in your life. No. What? They weren't. <laughs> no. She's, now she see how she's lying. I'm not, she lying. She I'm lie. not lying. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I promise I'm not lying, guys. Okay, what do you remember if I just say the, the age five? What do you think? Of? Five. Yeah. Okay, let's go to four. Okay. When uh, my sister was introducing to my life for the very first time. That's <laughs> fun. You that isn't you fun. Friend. That isn't fun, guys. Why? Because okay, I I, I don't even remember that day, but my mom would remind me she every day. You constantly. Yeah. So she would tell me, no, you were actually scared of your sister. Why? Because you okay. So in my okay. You scared. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, with my culture and all that, like, 
when the mother is um, pregnant rather. Okay. So you don't have like your mother coming like, oh, come say hi to your sister type of thing. So it was something like, where does she come from and how does she get here? Okay, you yeah, know, yeah. So I was scared because of that. And so my mom was like, no, come meet your sister. This is Lundy. Uh-uh, so, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Let me tell you what she was really scared of. I'm being replaced. <laughs> No, it wasn't that. A four-year-old thinking like that. No, guys, no, guys. I know these things. I don't. Yeah! Mommy, you're gonna love her more than me. No, man. I was even the. I'm the best sister. Oh, no, I'm yeah. sure, honey. No, but. Um, so, so you were afraid, but at least it took her time to admit it, right? <laughs> I had to adjust, eh? Interact with us in the studio, guys. You'll find the contact details at the bottom of your screen. And uh, we are talking about. Well, now we end up in childhood. Yeah. So, so was that a bad memory or a good memory? Or you, it's not your memory, it's mom informing yeah, you. Yeah, she's mom informing me. Okay, if I say the age seven, what comes to your head? You don't remember? I anything? still don't remember that. Do you remember grade one or preschool? Or? Grade one, yeah, I do remember grade one. Or was it not nice? It was actually uh, in between. Okay. I, there was, okay, I was also told. <laughs> like, most of the stuff Where's like, your memory card? You we don't use she that anymore. She went to the pawn shop and she left it there. <laughs> no, we don't use that anymore. Anyway, so in grade one, apparently I was the smartest kid in the class. Yeah. And uh, especially with math. And I don't remember that. You did math in grade one? Yeah. There's math in grade one? Yes. <laughs> huh? There's math. There's one plus one, two, two plus two. That's in the math. In your crayon book? No. no. Grade one? <laughs> Okay, that memory is gone. Hello. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, grade one, guys, there's like math. Yo, I just had flashbacks. Did you see that? Like Raven. Let's go, Raven. <laughs> I can see. Let's go, Raven. In the with me. Yeah. I yep, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you know what just happened in my brain? I remember grade one, but there's a bad memory there. Madam Balraj, if you're watching, ish. Who? Madam Balra, my oh. own teacher. <laughs> Check this out, guys. This teacher was a terror. And remember, there was there was a there was corporal punishment my time, huh? You they were allowed to hit you. Yeah. Madam Balra picked me up. I don't know, I was I'm I'm a clown. So I like making jokes all the time. I'll interfere with you and run away. You yeah, know? yeah. Madam Balra picked me up like this and threw me across the class. You don't listen. Oh yeah, yeah. By the way, Kimera is very short, so imagine by the time. <laughs> Now, I was even smaller than this. Exactly. <laughs> but she threw me across, across the class. Seriously. Then about that, shout out to you. Uh, yeah. You know what you remind me of um, in primary school when you didn't even do, when you don't do your homework? Yeah. Obviously, that's how your book was going to be thrown. Yes. I got Ross, no, I flew like, like Superman. Follow your book. Follow I was book. Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I believed I could fly. <laughs> right. That was bad. Uh, guys, don't bad. feel sorry for me. I was naughty. I probably deserved it. But yeah, <laughs> I did. So yeah, dude, yeah. I think of grade one. That's the first memory that popped in my head. Man, Stony also yeah. has something to say. What's up, Stony? What does he say? I also got replaced by um, a little, little sister. sister just when I was starting to rejoice. Being mama's <laughs> last born. born. <laughs> Shame, honey. You know what? Mommy loves you just the way you are. It hasn't changed. Really? What? Uh, What's this? Walk, 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 no, I walk. watch and I observe. Uh-uh. So uh-uh. please. What? Uh-huh. But mommy has a favorite. Mommy doesn't know how to divide her attention. Ooh, somebody <laughs> getting emotional up in here. <laughs> no, man. Like, mm. no. So when you have like a younger sister. Oh, my word. I'm not jealous. <laughs> I'm cheesy. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know what, Stoney? Check this out, honey. The baby will always be the baby, but you're still your mama's kid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, uh, I, if I were you, check, just just ask her one day, just give her a hug and then feel that, that, that energy. I'm oh, wow. telling you, it's real. It's there. Yeah, still there. Yeah. What's your story? See how she's pulling her <laughs> face? She's saying something, but her eyes are saying something else. What's wrong with you? No way, guys. Like, oh, so, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm not jealous. Our first one is like, 
you're given the responsibility to look after the sister of yours or brother of yours and then they kind of get that freedom like oh i can do whatever i, I want. want so it's just that that's the only part that i hate and yeah. i tell my sister every day like wandy grow up yeah and my mom's like no 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 if she grows up then i don't have any more kids Ah, so no, like, she's gonna grow up anyway. No, she's not. She's 19, turning 19 next month, and she still acts like a baby. Mommy, I'm hungry, and I'm like, eh, 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 banana. Yeah, <laughs> behave yourself, act your age. <laughs> All right, we've got another shout out from Nishal Nikhil Lakraj. What's up, cuz? All right, oh. sing us a song. Your cousin is in the house. What's Yo. up, cousin? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for subscribing to this channel. We really appreciate it. So, you sing tell us. us. Yeah, I'm not singing your song. I see, you see, my singing. I like this. I'm not squash, fan, I'm not. What is it? You're not Lion King, right? Oh, I was going to say. The Lion King. Spine, Bob, Square, Friends. That's what I thought you were singing. The Lion King, man. How? Squash, banana. You don't know Rafiki. I thought you were saying, who lives in. That's only how it sounds like. Anyway, sing it, sing it, sing it. No. You should like ruin the moment, guys. No, let's sing it. I'm gonna tell mom. I know. I can imagine being your sister. I'll entertain the whole day. You're gonna tell your mom. So the only the trick to that is that go tell mom first. Ooh, snitch. This one is a professional snitch. You know them. I've learned from the best guys. Look at this one. Oh man. Okay, guys, we'll be right back straight after this commercial break. Cortex Solutions. For all your cyber security and IT solutions, call 087-150-5642. That's 087-150-5642. And we're back. If you just joined us, you're live with us on Atom Bull TV. You're watching Time Out with myself, uh, Kimera Hiralal, as your host. By my side, the beautiful Samantha Kai. Hello, hi. Good afternoon, people. Ah, uh, <laughs> man, you know what? This is a good show. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Me too. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, the only thing is that Kimera doesn't know how to sing, guys. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> how's that? Good. Who's that? Is that a... Yeah. Yeah. Say it again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> y'all don't know. Do y'all not know Tarzan or George of the Jungle at least? Um, he doesn't have a theme song. Does he? Who Tarzan? George of the Jungle. Oh, it's George. George, 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 George of the Jungle. jungle watch out for the tree. Wait, wait, he goes. No. <laughs> wait, wait, he goes. George, George, George of the Jungle. jungle strong as it can be. Okay, dum, yeah. Dum, dum. George. Oh, douche. Watch out for the tree. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, I, I, I watched that movie too many times. Exactly. It's imprinted mm -hmm. in my brain, Michelle. Sha, why don't you sing us a song and yep. come on video with us? Yeah? And put you on live with us. Be cool. Yep. Yeah, so do interact with us in the studio today. You find the contact details at the bottom of the screen. Woo! All right, so Michelle, you tell us have you ever been out with your parents? Uh, I'm talking to Raisa, Michelle, Stoney, all of you that are tuned in. Tell us, have you ever been out with your parents and you they, they, they repeatedly take you there, like constantly, and they think mm -hmm. you're having fun, but you're not? Hmm. Get okay, more places. Yeah. So that's why she doesn't <laughs> like water. I can't even take on vacation. All right, we've got hey. another message here. We can make a plan. Ah, Nichelle. Oh, okay. Enjoy. Wait, wait. I got that's Stoney. Stoney saying, I'm enjoying time out, guys. You're taking some time out from work. I can't imagine you're working hard and nice. But that's why we named it Time Out. Time Out, guys. Everybody time needs to take time out and laugh a little bit every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Every now and then. Almost every day. No, it's every day. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, oh, my word. He sounded like <laughs> George of the Jungle. <laughs> Nichelle, <laughs> Nichelle interacts with us in the studio today, guys. He says, you know my parents. It always happens. <laughs> like casinos, right? Parents think it's okay to take us casinos off. No, they know it's good for them. For them? And yeah. Us, we will probably like by 2 o'clock in the morning, you're tired, you want to go home, fit the money's finished, your tickets are finished, you got your prizes, you want to go home. Mommy, I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, just now, my baby, a little bit longer. I want to go home. Oh, just, just, man. <laughs> Ria, guys, we have Ria on our show saying, you guys are so funny, I'm really enjoying this. Thank you for joining us, Ria. Thanks, Ria, man. Join us in conversation. Ria, tell us where your parents took you. We want to know. 
Tell, it, it, was, it was always that memory where you don't like going and they take you there all the time. time. Yo, like shopping. Oh! oh! God. No, no, no! I no, used no, to, I used to sleep in those those railing things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in Edgar's guys, those things that go round as well. And my uh-huh. mom likes going by the um, okay, the underwear department and the coat department. You'll find me in the big jackets or the suit section. It's warm. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So you you actually did you enjoy going grocery shopping with your mom? You'll find me at the bottom of the trolley or in the trolley. Ah, uh, crying. Oh, I was gonna ask doing what there. But but if you buy me things, then it's a good day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sony. Sony says this show should not end today. How much do you need? What do you mean money? Huh. Oh, any day. Time. I'm... We can give you time, which is time out. Yeah, we we'll give you time out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah. so when you went shopping, what did you used to do to get out of there? You couldn't. You I used to stay in the car. And I asked my mom Ooh. to leave me with a phone. But if it's hot? No, man. You wind down the windows, you play games uh, and all of that. And we still have Stony. Mm. If I have to pay for that. Pay for what? I don't know. You telling me. Stony, what you be Sorry. talking about, honey? Stop speaking in half sentences. <laughs> what, what, what if you have to pay for what, honey? Yeah, I'm waiting for Nishal to tell us. Uh, give us a place. Give us a story, man, Nishal. Interact with us. There's over 100, 175 different platforms. 76, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we and Ria also, streaming please. around the world. Yeah, Ria. Ria, Stoney, hit us up. <laughs> what are you telling us? Okay, so when you were in the shop, what did you used to do? Just sit in the car? Yeah, sit in the car or... What were you doing? With mom's phone, what's on me? Games. Oh. Oh, what what game, your sleep. mama trusted you to sit in the car and allow you to open the window. Indian parents are not the story, yeah? No, no. But we're going to talk about that now. So, Stony says the show to continue for 24 hours. Do you have data, oh. bro? <laughs> if he had to pay, he would. Okay, okay, okay. Can we have another one? So many stories. Uh, you're my bigger cousin, so you know more than me. <laughs> That's <laughs> all right. <laughs> Your parents and my parents used to, you know, I was talking about casinos, you yeah. missed that part of the show, where they'll force us to stay in the game section till 2, 3, 4 in the morning. And then one day Samantha and I said, ah, let's take this money and we kicked it to Club with Rose Taxis. Yeah, that was fun. Savage. That was fun. And it was yeah. a team. How old was she? Samantha is nine months older than me. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Your cousin? Yeah. Your cousin? Yeah. <laughs> Your cousin, um, what's her name? Oh, Michelle. Michelle. Yeah. How old was she? Samantha is nine months exactly older than me. Then Michelle. Okay. How old is Michelle? Oh, Michelle. Michelle is way younger than you. Way, right, way younger. Right, than right, you. right, yeah, right. But now he's a big boy. In the twenties, right? So, yeah. <laughs> big boy. He's a big boy, man. Right, he's an adult now. But uh, before, oh, he knows. He knows. What's yeah. up? Yeah. Let's talk about clubbing days. No. <laughs> no, it's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> We also spoke about it like the body shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's part of it. Oh. Where well, you and Samantha went there. Yeah. And they were offering guys body shots. Ah. Promoting the shorts. Kimera, someone has a short memory in the studio today. Wait, what happened? Wait, I got lost in thought because I was like, how many adverts do we do, director? <laughs> oh, we, oh, we finished our adverts. Okay, now I just need to check. My brain was working yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we also have about another comment from Michelle. Are you 26? Wow. He's, he's, he's an adult now. Yeah, so now, yeah. Right, okay. Okay, yeah. I feel so young right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's younger than you, Shah. Three years, just three years. Yeah. And we'll have another one. Body Michelle. shots weren't allowed when I'm around. Don't lie! <laughs> Why are you lying? They're always everywhere, in every pub, every club. It's allowed. Yeah. You just lying. Because your girlfriend's with you, right? Oh. <laughs> but then what's wrong with our body shorts? Oh yeah, so oh yeah, we were talking about body yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I zoned out. I didn't. My memory's not uh, lost, <laughs> guys. I just was lost in our production. Yeah. Okay. okay. Body shots. What about it? We were talking about it. I let's close the chapter. No, I want to know. <laughs> what, what was she saying? We were talking. You were actually telling us a story about you and Samantha. Where? Oh yeah. Of the they, they offered us body shots, yeah. but we weren't gonna take it. Because I tell you why. Everybody's mouths were going on the same brim of the shot. Oh, Do you understand? Yeah, 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 I have yeah. sensitive. I have sensitive mouth. I can't just sensitive of everything. Ah, ah, I get mouth sores and stuff, guys. You know, I'm yeah. not. I'm not a party pooper. I'm just sensitive. Yeah. So it's not that I feel dirty for people. 
Hey, but it's hygiene, guys. Yay! And uh, now with COVID, body shots is dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It and you're doing a mask. <laughs> How are we gonna have fun? Then? How about a straw? Use a straw. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. Take guys, a show the clubs open. Straw. Are the clubs open? Yeah. And they're closing at what midnight? I don't know. I don't club that much. You know her eyes <laughs> going to the top <laughs> left, and then does she not know a detective say, "Oh, you lie, you do lie." <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, all right, guys. So, Dishal, Stoney, and Raisa, we're gonna have to love and leave you, hey? Yeah, Ria. Ria, Risa. Oh, sorry, sorry, Risa. It's Ria. Ria. Sorry, yeah. honey, I, I, my mistake. Yay! Yeah, we'll come back tomorrow, same time, same place, 4 p.m. here on Time Out. Yeah? Yeah. Same time, same place. And also, check uh, out on um, Atomville <laughs> FM show. <laughs> We're gonna be tomorrow live at 5 30 in the morning if you're awake. Yeah, five guys. Yeah, I go live there on the Breakfast Express show on Attenville TV. You can join me there tomorrow morning. Oh, next week is gonna be fun. Uh, Nishal, if you are listening and you're still watching, please do join us next week. Every single day is gonna be a different type of artist inside the studio. Yeah, yeah. And then Nishal, clubs are open and I'm guilty. Yay! Yay! Is that the right reaction? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't have any reaction. And then we have Stoney saying we love you, Kimera Hara. <laughs> she, she still can't say my surname, guys. It's Hiralala. <laughs> say Hiralala. Try, try it again, try it again. Hiralala. <laughs> she can't. I don't know if she's like, There's so many times to say Hiralala. Hiralala. Okay, Nichelle. <laughs> Nichelle, say. What? Enjoy, Enjoy guys. guys. <laughs> At Samantha, nice meeting you over the Facebook Live. <laughs> By the way, I have a very good-looking family. You'll see a picture of it. Yeah, can't yeah. wait for that. <laughs> Nisha, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pump you out, right? <laughs> yeah, this is why. Hey, 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 very, very sweet child to look after you in the kitchen. He's just marketing you. I'm marketing you live on air. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we have time for now. We'll check you guys tomorrow, same time, same place at 4 p.m. Don't forget to catch us live on Radio Attenville FM. All right, so you can download. Where you download it from? Uh, downloading it from Google Play and App Store, people. iTunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can download the app Attenville FM. You can catch me as DJ Baby Girl live on Attenville FM tomorrow morning from 6 a.m. up until now. Yeah, and catch me, Sam Styles, on the review show from 12 to 3 p.m. every weekday. And also, guys, please do tune in tomorrow. We have an interesting show coming up with our guest and a twist. Because it's a, sh a game that I actually invented. Oh, yeah. Called Singing Out Loud. Stay tuned. And we also have uh, Michelle saying, Hook me up. Ooh. See? <laughs> see? See? When I show you his picture, you're going to say, Okay. <laughs> you you oh, cute because I'm selling you here. All right. So tune in tomorrow morning, right? 6 a.m. to 9 and 12 to 3. Every yeah. single weekday, Monday through to Friday. From myself, Kimera Hiralal, and Samantha Kai. Bye bye. Adios, guys. <laughs>